Hey, what is going on everybody? It is your guy here at Playbox Gaming. This is Brian, and today I have some Madden Ultimate Team for you guys. Um, I know it has been quite a while since I've made any sort of videos. Um, the videos I used to make and upload were for NBA 2K15. I do plan on uploading some videos for that game. Um, but as of lately, I've been playing a lot of a uh, Madden Ultimate Team, and uh, today I actually have some gameplay for you guys. I actually have a really uh, fun, uh, entertaining game I think today. Um, but anyway, before I get into the game, I want to show you guys my team who I'm working with. Um, my team is a 94 overall. It used to be a 95 overall, actually, uh, really close to 96. But I decided to downgrade my offensive line and my linebackers just because I feel like they play better. Like, at left guard, I'm running an 84 overall center. But um, his running, his run blocking stats are amazing. 100 strength, 100 run block, uh, 99 impact blocking. Uh, just not really much in terms of a pass block, which I think was only 75. And as you can see here, Warmack has an 81. I think even Deerdorf has really low pass block too. Yeah, 75. But their strength and run block and impact blocking is all really, really high. So um, I like to run the ball a lot, so it makes sense for me. And I am not regretting it, uh, lowering my overall. Even at linebacker, I'm starting 90 Bruce Carter, even though I have 94 Bruce Irvin as a backup. Um, I just feel like the 90 overall plays better than 94 overall. Same with my left outside linebacker, 93 Jamie Collins. I downgraded. Um, I used to run 96 Von Miller, but Jamie Collins just makes more plays for me in my 3-4. Um, even on special teams, I downgraded my long snapper. I had 99 overalls before, but we're on this 82 Mike Webster because he has a lot of really cool stats. 95 hit power if... Um, uh, 90 power moves uh, and he really good blocking stats as well. He can just make plays if um, he somehow uh, gets attacked. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the game here. I am playing a guy who actually likes to run this bunch uh, formation that I like to run a lot. Um, he has, I think, 96 Robert Griffin the third, who is a really really fast quarterback. So um, I'm familiar with his scheme. Um, and I already forced him to a three and out already, uh, first uh, drive of the game, but he's going for it on fourth and 14. So you're going to see me here uh, come out and cover drop four or something like that. I'm going to try to use her, the cornerback, and uh, shadow the tight end if I can. I've been trying to get better at uh, user and getting user interceptions. As you can see here, I guess the tight end, I was wrong, but I do have free safety Calvin who was able to make a good play, but. <laughs> Wasn't able to hurdle anybody right there, unfortunately. Um, moving right along here, uh, later, right after the interception, going to throw a quick uh, out route to Gronk, who uh, makes a good catch despite a risky pass. Um, it's going to set up uh, me for a... Going to go ahead and go with a run right here to the left. Uh, ran this play a few times already, but he was not prepared for it at all. Chris Johnson with an easy touchdown run. Um, really love his speed, man. His speed is just amazing. 98, I think. He plays so fast. But, um, anyway, you're going to see me here. I'm going to, uh, stop his kick return right around the 15. And that's also going to set me up pretty well on a defense. Um, player two later, you're going to see me come out and cover two. And, um, I'm going to try to QB spy and, uh, also shadow the tight end if I can. But he doesn't try to run or throw a tight end. Instead, he throws it to Mike Evans, who just completely jumps over two people, two pretty tall people, six foot Rod Woodson, six foot four, or six foot three, Mays, Taylor Mays. But anyway, um, I guess run here. I sent five, but his draw play just beats me right there. Um, going to go ahead and skip forward to um, late in the second. I uh, decide to come out and fake field goal. I don't normally do this. I just had a gut feeling to do it. Um, I run it, and fortunately for me, I'm able to get an easy completion right there. Uh, he tried to use her, the guy that was covering the flat. And then a couple plays later, as the quarter is about to expire, I do the same thing again. Um... And this play is much more risky than the last one. 
but I do just barely throw a touchdown to Jamal Charles. And, um, yeah, I don't know. I just had a gut feeling about those plays. He, um, If he would have come out and field goal block, I would have got tackled instantly, so I would have had to call a timeout. But as you see here, he's on defense. I get a huge hit stick on him. Uh, twice, actually, his quarterback and his running back, Rod Woodson, forces a fumble. And um, that gives me the ball right back. But unfortunately for me, I couldn't do much with it. I had to uh, uh, give him the ball back. And I'm going to try again to use her the left outside linebacker and cover Gronk. See here, I played it well. I mean, you can't really do much more than a... Uh, uh, that, that wasn't even triple coverage. That was like five people. I don't even know what you call that. But Gronk just makes the catch, unfortunately, for me. Um, next play, he tries to go Gronk again. But I, Taylor Mays is there to deflect the ball. Couldn't get an interception. But I'm not complaining. He at least uh, got me a stop there. I'm going to try to force some pressure on him right here with a blitz from safety. Unfortunately, he catches me offsides. I try to run back. I try to switch the user. But... It just, I shouldn't have made that mistake. Uh, he gets a touchdown. And feeling confident, he decides to go for two right here. Uh, he doesn't want the tie. He wants to go up by one with uh, just about two minutes left in the third. Um, so I come out in that play. Um, I audible a few guys. I put on a QB spy. Uh, he almost catches me off sides again. But, um... See here, he runs the RG3, and I just miss him by half a second. If I got there a little bit quicker, I could have got the stop. I could have been up by one. But instead, I'm down by one. So later on, um, I think it's the next play after the kickoff, I run a counter with Chris Johnson, and he manages to find a hole right up the middle. And he makes a few people miss, and he showboats rightfully so. Easy touchdown. And Madden tells me to go for two, so why not go for two? I decide to put my running back, Jamal Charles, uh, motion him out to the left. Uh, Chris Johnson was obviously tired. And I think I get Gronk on one-on-one -on -one coverage right there, and I do. And uh, he beat him on the out route right there. So there I am. I'm up by a touchdown. Um, later on in the third quarter, time's almost um, running out. I get a... Interception with Rod Woods. Not a user interception, but still an interception. He makes a great play. Great jump on the ball. And I try to stiff arm the guy just in case he gets close enough. But uh, something happens with his arm, man. It's uh, not looking good. It's like, yeah, it was like dislocated or something. Looks uh, looks bad. But um, anyway, I was hoping that uh, he, wouldn't, he wasn't injured or anything. I mean, it looked bad, but... Uh, wasn't injured but as you see right there on the right side of your screen his arm is still messed up i don't know what's going on with him it's a it's kind of weird uh he tries to roll out with rg3 he uh, avoids sack once can't avoid it twice and jamie collins gets me um a sack on rg3 his second sack of the game um like i said jamie collins he just makes more plays than uh cards that i used to have that were higher overall same with bruce carter um, as you can see here, Rod Woodson is still in pain. He is still, his arm is stuck. He's holding it out. I'm not sure if he can move it or what. But um, he tests Rod Woodson with his uh, dislocated arm or something. And uh, Rod Woodson, one arm and all, is still able to uh, defend that pass. Wasn't the best throw either, but still, can't test Rod Woodson right there. His arm is still jacked up. At this point, I'm getting concerned. Think about calling a timeout tried to cover Gronk and I do a pretty good job. I was a little too slow, but I had a defender there make a monster hit on him. No way you could hold on to the ball. So, um, uh, yeah. My uh, computer player helped me out right there. Didn't make me look silly. He decides to go for on 4 and 13. I'm going to try to use her with Rod Woodson. Maybe get a one-handed interception. Who knows? Um... Yeah, I'm guarding that guy pretty well. Decides to go switch to the tight end. And he decides to run. I go for the hit stick and miss. And I get him with a hit stick again. But RG3 is able to hang on to the ball. And uh, he gets a new set of downs. First and ten. Rod Woodson is still not doing too well. 
Um, he tries to throw deep right there. Steve Atwater would just read that play so well. Um, almost got the interception, but not going to complain uh, that he didn't because he did get the pass deflection or pass defense, uh, whatever it's called. Made a good play right there. Rod Woodson is still, I don't know if that's going to be an issue later on. I was uh, really thinking about subbing him out, but um, I'm glad I didn't. As you see here, he's still able to make the tackle with one arm, but I think after that, he like, he fixed his arm somehow. I don't know if he like dislocated his shoulder and he like popped it back in. But um, right there, right after fixing his arm, he does get interception almost for six. Over. Ah, oh, no, he couldn't beat uh, RG3. And I think right after this, my opponent is going to rage quit um, right after the Rod Woodson monster game. Two interceptions, one forced fumble, and he overcame a gruesome shoulder dislocation, arm dislocation, something. Um, yeah, that's going to wrap it up for me today. I'm going to try to make this a more regular occurrence for me, uh, YouTube videos and Twitch videos. And with that being said, thanks for watching. See you next time.